All right, so in this example, we're gonna find the equation of hyperbola when we are given transverse axis and length, the center and the focus. Okay, so first thing I would do is, well, what is the transverse axis? Transverse axis is always 2a. So 2a equals transverse axis length. That's a really bad uh, S. Um, and the transverse axis is always kind of, it's kind of like the major axis, which means it's the one that the foci will be on that line, and the center will be on that line, and the vertices will be on that line. So it's, you know how a squared always comes first in the equation. We have a squared, then we have minus something b squared. Transverse axis is always 2a. So 2 of that number. So, well, we know we've got a center at 2 negative 1, so we can draw that in. 2 negative 1. Then we've got a focus at 8 negative 1, which is all the way out here. Well, we know that the a is the distance from center to vertices. So we can actually use that right away, distance from center to vertices. So that's going to be, well, if 2a, 2a equals 10, because that's the transverse axis length, a equals 5. So we're going to have to go up 5, so we're going to be all the way at 7, negative 1. So that's going to put it right here. And then once we have that, we can actually, we could draw in our other focuses, our other foci, and um, the other vertices, but we actually don't need to. We've kind of figured out everything we need. So what we have is we have a right here. Then we have... The distance from the center to the foci is C. So then, well, we can find B because we know C squared equals A squared plus B squared. And our C is, well, we're going from 2, negative 1 to 8, negative 1. So we went 6 in the right direction. So C equals 6. So C squared is 36 equals, well, A, we went from 2, negative 1 all the way to well, we figured out a was 5, so we just know a is 5. We went 25 plus b squared. So then we can subtract 25. We get b squared equals 11. So b equals the square root of 11. So now we have both a squared and b squared, and we have our h and k. So now we can really just write down the full equation. And now let's think about which um, x or y is going to have to come first. Well... If we, this one, this parabola would be opening like this. So it's opening left and right, which means x has to come first. Think about it, it's traveling along the x-axis, so x is going to come first. So we've got x minus, well, it's going to be minus h, which is the first part of our center, which is minus 2, x minus 2 squared, divided by, and it's going to be a squared, because it always comes first. We figured out a was um, 5, so a squared is 25, minus, and then we're going to have y, minus k, which is negative 1, so minus a negative 1 becomes plus 1 squared over b squared, which b is square root of 11, so b squared is just 11, equals 1. So that would be it. That's our final equation. We got x minus 2 squared over 25 minus y plus 1 squared over 11 equals 1. Hope this video is able to help, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.